Miss Major. She was very helpful from the time I came to Bahamas and she has to me assisted the students in a very good way. She always made sure that we were on the right track and that we were getting through with our studies and stuff like that and I will really miss her and I appreciate everything she did for me throughout my experience in Bahamas. Well, from the first time I heard about Miss Major, everyone was telling me, oh, she's a big bad wolf and she's not that friendly etc but when I got to know her it was very different anytime that I was sick she was there to carry me to the doctor even when I was sick before I left Bahamas she even called me here she was very helpful she would assist me if anything she's the best um, what I remember about Miss Major that you can see great advice from her. She loves sharing her life stories. Um, she always has something to say. Always straight off topic, but it's always interesting at the end of the day. Um, like towards here, I see him. I mostly enjoyed Miss Major. I really enjoyed the role plays. That was awesome. You know, we got to laugh and learn at the same time, and just it was just spontaneous. Like you just like um. Just like on the spot thinking and I think that was a really good experience and Miss Major she's awesome. I love her and I miss her. She's very supportive. Um, before we came I heard I didn't really hear much about the other teachers like Mr. Salvaris or Miss McKay, but we definitely heard about Miss Major, like how strict she was and you know, not really to get her bad side and I don't think the class before really painted that positive of a picture, but I must say when I came, like all my experiences with Miss Major totally changed any sort of perception that anybody tried to place before. She is just amazing, she's dedicated, she's passionate, she's committed to her students and her work, and I must say that she's really given us as students her all and really been dedicated to us, whether taking us to the doctor or just talking to us about any personal problems. She's been great. Uh, what I can really miss and appreciate about Miss Major is that she used to always look out for me. Uh, she used to look out for all these students really from the first time we come here. Uh, Miss Major used to always go her way to make sure that we are okay if anyone's sick. She will take us to the doctor anytime she could get to her and she will come. Miss Major approachable will say that to her. She will be easy to talk to. She, she just, to me, just have the students' interests at heart and make sure she go her way to make sure that we're comfortable here in, in this in this country because we're in a foreign place and she just try to make it as easy as possible for us while still allowing us to have our independence. I'll always remember Miss Major for being one of the most helpful persons in staff and always sharing a life story and I'll also remember Miss McKay cracking a joke in her classes and Everybody always scared of her exams and so on, so yes. What I will not miss are Miss McKay's exams. But, however, I will miss McKay as a teacher because she, is, uh, she was one of those lecturers where you could go and sit down and talk to them and she would give you really good constructive advice about how you should approach your schoolwork and it was really helpful. But, uh, what I remember about Miss McKay is the way she up at her own jokes while everyone cracks up because she's cracking up. From the time I knew about Miss McKay, everyone was telling me make sure that you spell your work properly, punctuation marks, the T, everything has to be perfect for her. At the beginning, it was not so good for me because I'm not that good at English, but throughout the school years I developed and I'd like to thank her for that because now I get A's in her class. She's a great teacher, great friend. We had a little bond from the time we went to South Carolina, and she's the best. So yeah, I appreciate uh, Miss M Miss McKay and uh, all that she done for us. Um, she always correct us and guide us in the right way. She she was funny to me, although we might we might laugh at the jokes, or we might do laugh at the jokes. They find her funny, but we don't find her funny. Ish. And yeah, she's just a nice woman and she, like, she's excellent at her job as a lecturer because they honestly learn a whole lot from Ms. McKay and over the two years I really developed my knowledge base and really learned about tourism and not just um, did the class, but just the past. So thanks for that Ms. McKay. Okay, so 
Kay will always remember Miss McKay for um, cracking her own jokes. And we're gonna miss her and we're very thankful for all she can help us with in terms of grammar, writing our essays and stuff, being very helpful. We, we will miss you. Miss McKay. <laughs> Miss McKay has taught me the majority of my classes at CHTM. And you know, I don't think I could have asked for a better teacher. She is eccentric. She is, you know, she has a lot of these stories. I think I know her sons, although I never met them, but she's always referring to them and they're hilarious. But you know, she really is very challenging and she inspired us to go beyond what we thought we could see or you know, to just excel. And I really do appreciate her. I appreciate her over these past two years. And definitely all the life lessons, all the educational lessons, I'm sure, will help me throughout my life. So thank you to all three of you. Well, she is something else, but I love her. <laughs> Miss oh, <laughs> McKay had her blonde moments. Yes, I love her. I love her. I remember the first thing that she told us to tell you something different from herself. I have two different sized <laughs> ears. <laughs> I remember that for sure. <laughs> but we must admit, she's one of the best teachers here at CHTM. I don't she think, is. like, um, what we've learned in, ter in terms of the tourism industry, travel, everything, a lot of it came from her. She's very insightful, very in depth, and we love her. Somebody marking, please. <laughs> <laughs> we, love we love you, you. Miss McKay. Oh, wait, come, come, come. <laughs> one, one, two, three. One. We love you, Miss McKay. Mr. Savarus, he's a very loving man. He's a very helpful person, a helpful individual. You can always go to him at any point and tell him that he's always willing and able to help in whichever way possible. Um, when I first got here, I was a little uncomfortable with the whole um, restaurant stuff, and he helped me to you know adapt and get a little comfortable in that area and as I said before he's very helpful and I will miss him for that. Mr. Salvaris is a very respectable young man. Yeah he is very, he's a very fun loving person and I will surely miss him. He has helped us out a lot in many ways. He helped me get my internship last year and I was very grateful for that and I'm trying out some things right now where right? you don't know my work on it so honestly Sal just big up yourself and we will surely miss you Mr. Sal is a loving teacher he's always there for you no matter what you can go to him anytime like even if it's not in his um, visiting hours he's still going to help you he's going to talk to you if you're going to have a party and you don't have enough funds like a party as in like a school function and you ask him to donate anything he will make sure that he donates money or either food it doesn't matter what it is mr Savarez, yes how could i fit mr Savarez? <laughs> oh well i'm a hotel student so i was able to i'm Savarez for my two years here and let me say it was a very interesting experience you know working with Salvarez but he's a really cool lecturer and he knows a lot he's very educated and experienced in his field and I was able to learn a lot from him and he took us to the Chicago show the National Restaurant Association show and that was really awesome you know I'm going to miss his short self so Salvarez has been exceptional. I personally was never taught by him, but I've worked in a restaurant before. And anytime I just saw him, you know, he was very lovable, always giving you a hug and stuff. You know, he's a very pleasant, very happy, very loving person. And that really, you know, impacted me. And then... Uh, I've been very privileged to have a uh, small group of dedicated clothing lecturers. Um, this is South, one of them, the third one I've definitely got, Miss Major, always there for us. Miss Major is one that always goes above and beyond her community to make sure we are comfortable, to make sure when we sit, we see the doctor carrying us from here to there. Miss Major is very much appreciated at the school. Um, this kid is very eccentric, always a story to tell. Um, but her story is always stick with me because the examples are actually applicable to life. And they've actually drawn on some of her examples during my work experience in the past summer. Alright, um, we had our practical restaurant experience. Um, it was fairly okay. Um, it gave me a chance to 
learn some more techniques of the dining room and the kitchen. Um, Mr. Saul was very helpful in getting us ready and trained um, for the restaurant. And the teachers in general were nice. Mr. Zombus was one of my favorite teachers, that's for sure. Um, Ms. Major, Mr. Sal himself, and Ms. McKay was also very helpful. Um, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for helping me achieve my degree, as I'm now graduating with a degree in hotel management, a bachelor's of science degree in hotel management. I am proud of you as I look back on my life into the path within my reach. I hope I can change a life that will always be there in everything I do. I hope that you're as proud of me as I am proud of you.